Okay, this may or may not be all the parts that we need. A couple of batteries, a couple of motors, the main driver, 3D printed parts, a whole bunch of parts. I thought it would be interesting to go through them and, and see what they're all going to do. Also, I need content. Now, something I haven't figured out is the motor is obviously going to be somewhere around here on the skate. Now, I haven't figured out how to mount the traction screws on the wheel hub. I'm thinking about using this kind of screw. Now, regarding the connections, we couldn't possibly hold the weight of the battery, the motor, and all the electronics on one skate. Now, luckily, the motors have three wires for the main power, and I'm just using an ordinary wall cable with the ground wire included so it's total of three i could just connect it straight to the power cables now we have another wire it's a censored so in order to utilize the censored function of this motor i'm using an ethernet cable and it has a total of eight cables i believe the 3d printed parts are pla yeah we'll see if they hold up the shock absorbers are from a rc car i salvaged it's now unusable the motors are 500 watts each, so quite a lot of power. And this is the controller. That's pretty much all you need to know. The 3D printed structure will be the skate attachments and the spacer. The two parts that holds the motor can pivot so that the springs can keep pressure on the wheel and so always keeping the wheel engaged with the ice. You see the little plastic square? That's what keeps the entire motor in place. I also routed the wires in such way they wouldn't snag and I cracked the rod in half because my editing, I mean my strength, is just that good. Instead of spending hours sketching out the perfect shape of the skate, I made the skate attachments completely straight and tried something I haven't done too much before. I am straight up heating the plastic to jelly consistency and forcing it to form along the shape of the skate. I heated the PLA with a heating gun in order to mold the PLA around the, around the irregular skate attachment. The motor, the motor wires I routed in such a way that it doesn't have any pinpoints to, to snag. And I also placed a heat shrink tubing to protect the wires from this bolt. And everything you have to do in order to attach them is using this long threaded rod and uh, this should go together quite easily. There you go. The shock absorbers will be placed in there and attached somewhere around here on the skate. And so now you can see how the shock absorber will always keep the motor engaged with the ice. Before we continue, I have to go into town uh, and get the screws for the studs and washers because the ones I have is, are too, too thick. These are the studs. Let's put them in and uh, see how well they work. I started with a modest 32 studs, 16 on each wheel. Cutting them was a nightmare, but in the end, they all looked something like this. Pre-drilled and just pushed them in. It worked because of the aluminium frame stopping the studs from going further in. I was pretty sure this wasn't going to be enough metal to ice contact, but still wanted to give it a try. I couldn't compress the springs to the level I wanted. The plastic fabric part, this here, flexed enough to render the springs pretty much useless. I had a suspicion this was gonna be a problem. So that's one of them fully assembled. Not sure if it's enough studs, but we can always add more later. The blue plastic already started to crack, so I decided to print with the yellow plastic again because it seems to be a lot tougher and it didn't crack. 
That's the crack in one of the blue parts. All there was left to do was assemble skate number two. So that's the cables I've soldered and here's the censored wire and that's the motor power cables. We can try it for the first time, I'm really excited. You never know if it's gonna blow up or work perfectly. So now you see how the motor is connected to the motor driver and uh, all we have to do is turn on the controller and then turn on the power. The thing with censored motors are that you can spin them very slowly, you have total control. And then there's obviously a brake if you push this down. Well, it was reversed so I pushed this button. This is awkward. All right, we're ready for the very first test of the skates. Both motors are working. I'm looking really stupid with the wires, but it's homemade, so what are you gonna do? Alright, here we go. First test. Whoa! Whoa! I'll definitely, I'll definitely be here tomorrow. We need more studs and possibly even more spring power to keep the wheel engaged. That's, that's it. Whoa. Here I am installing another 64 studs for a total of 96. It reminds me of the spiked jackets the kids that shoved my head in the toilet would wear. Better get started. I just have to plug in my ice skates. Didn't think you would hear that today, huh? So three times the amount of studs and they are also longer. And I also put more pressure on the springs. So uh, let's see how this works. Definitely working a lot better. Uh, unfortunately, I can't go any further.
At this point I removed the springs and straight up bolted the motor in place so that my entire weight was standing on both motors. It makes sense as electric skateboards doesn't have a compressed spring to reduce the weight on the motor. But then all of a sudden warm weather came in and this was gonna be the last shot. If you're thinking about making a set of electric skates, just keep in mind that this is what would happen if you would fall. The top speed kind of dog shit, the acceleration was okay. I had to lean back in order to keep the motor engaged, which made it so that I couldn't accelerate 100%. The studs worked great though. I could prob probably add even more. The 3D printed parts also held up. And so everything worked, you know, kind of link in the description below, by the way. Version two for next year, I'll probably just double or even triple the power output of the motor. And hopefully we can also still use the battery and the driver. It may be restricted to a certain power output, but in that case, I'll just get new parts. But in overall, it's, it's a fun project and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it. So see you again very soon. Have an awesome day. Bye.